What's going on guys, Spoon here, back again with some more No Man's Sky. Today we're going to be jumping into the hot topic of multi-tools, specifically how you can get your own S-Class multi-tools. This video is going to be split in two parts. The first part of this guide is to teach you how to find your very own S-Class multi-tools. The second part I will be showing you some really cool multi-tools I've found so far and how you can pick them up for yourself in a matter of minutes. So for multi-tool hunting, we need to look at several things, starting off with multi-tool cabinets. Cabinets are boxes you will find next to multi-tool dealers on the space station and the anomaly. They have a drop-down section that folds down as you approach, revealing a multi-tool inside of it. The space station and the anomaly only covers two of the three spawn locations for cabinets. The third that you will find will be on a wall inside of minor settlements. This being the case for any settlement that you come across. So what's the big deal with cabinets you might be asking? Well, the cabinets themselves are actually the most important thing when it comes to hunting an S-Class multi-tool. This is because the class of the tool that is spawned inside of the cabinet is tied to the cabinet itself and not the tool. Now that we know where to find the cabinets and that the cabinet class allocation determines the multi-tool spawn itself, let's look at the tools themselves now. Multi-tools are split into four categories and four classes. The categories are pistol, rifle, experimental and alien. There are some crossovers with these categories, like this cool red experimental pistol that I found. If you like it, stick around because I'll be showing you how to get this exact multi-tool later. Once the multi-tool is inside of a category, it gets allocated a class rating. Now this part may get a little confusing because we just talked about how cabinets determine the spawns of multi-tools, which is the correct way to look at it. So, how do we know what multi-tool we are getting at a cabinet? For example, if this cabinet here is a C-Class cabinet, then it can spawn C-Class multi-tools. Alongside this, there is a small chance of it being able to spawn a multi-tool from a class adjacent to the cabinet class allocation. In this case, B-Class being adjacent to C. Being successful in doing this will not actually spawn the multi-tool at its multi-tool class allocation, but will spawn that multi-tool at the cabinet class allocation. Now I know that's a lot to take in, so let's look at this here. Let's take the four class ratings and put them at the top. These are our cabinets. Now let's put the same classes S, A, B and C below. These are our multi-tool classes. Now let's say we flew to a minor settlement and it has an A class cabinet. So now let's look at what can spawn inside of the A class cabinet. Obviously we are looking at the majority of chance being the A-Class allocated multi-tools, however there's also a small chance that B or even S-Class allocated multi-tools can spawn inside of this cabinet. If that is the case then the multi-tool will still show as an A-Class even though its designation is a B or S-Class. This is because it's spawned inside of the A-Class cabinet. So now that we know how cabinet spawning works, let's look at the multi-tool pools and how that determines what specific multi-tool you will receive from a cabinet. Multi-tool pools are a group of two to four tools that are designated to any unique planetary body inside of a system. These tools will range from class allocation S to C. These are the basics of multi-tool hunting. Now that we are equipped with all of this information, let's look at how to manipulate that to our advantage. The first thing that you will need to do is find a, a multi-tool cabinet with a class allocation that you want. This will generally be an S-Class cabinet. Here we have found an S-Class cabinet aboard the space station. This is ideal and if we check the cabinet we can see that there is an S-Class pistol inside of it. Now that we have our S-Class cabinet it's time to manipulate the game to show us the A and S-Class allocated multi-tools. To do this we need to fly to any planet jump out of our ship and trigger an autosave. Now what we need to do is reload that autosave. What this does is tell the game that we are on this specific planet, meaning that any multi-tool cabinet you go to in this system will draw from this planet's multi-tool pool. And we have a pretty nice looking two-tone white and grey 24 slot rifle. 
that's not a bad multi-tool, but we are going to keep checking the rest of the appliance in the system. Again, going down and reloading the save. If you don't like the multi-tool that appears in the cabinet, you can repeat this process across all of the planetary bodies until you find the multi-tool you desire. It's also worth noting that the space station itself has its own multi-tool pool as well. And there we have it, an S-Class Alien Multi-Tool. This is what I've been after for a while now, and of course I will be buying that. Thank you very much. So we've covered how to hunt your own multi-tools and if that's not for you, that's okay. This second part of the video will explain how you can get the cool red experimental multi-tool I showed earlier within just a few minutes. What you're going to need to do to do this method is have access to the portal network and have all of the glyphs unlocked. If you don't have this, then just continue with your main storyline and you will eventually unlock all of the glyphs naturally and easily. Once you're ready, make your way to a portal. Now that you are here, all you are going to do is to travel to the system that has this specific multi-tool in it. For this part, before you activate the portal, you should turn your multiplayer network settings to off. This is because if someone was in the game with you and they bought the multi-tool you wanted while you were there, then it would be gone forever and you would not even have the option to purchase it yourself. To get into this system with the multi-tool, you will need to enter these specific glyphs in this sequence to activate the portal. The first glyph in the sequence is the bird, then the sunrise, next the tree, back to the sunrise again, then the triangles glyph, Next, the TP, then a hurricane symbol, triangles again, bird again, triangles, hurricane, and the last symbol is going to be the sunrise symbol, but if you want this multi-tool, you need to pause the video right now and write down these symbols or take a screenshot whatever you need to do so you can get this sequence yourself. Okay, and activate the portal. Walk through the portal and you will be transported to an icy planet in the system. Once you're here, jump into your starship and head up into space. Look around until you find a planet called Massey C2. It's a temperate planet with aggressive sentinels. Once you have arrived, simply jump out to trigger an autosave.
reload the save, then fly back into space and pulse to the space station. After you land, just jump up to the multi-tool dealer and check the S-Class cabinet next to him. And there you go, your very own flashy red experimental pistol. Thanks for watching my guide on hunting multi-tools. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below, chuck a comment and tell me what your favorite multi-tool is, and subscribe for more No Man's Sky content.